Welcome to the Flowpaper tutorial, creating and sharing stories using Flowpaper. In this tutorial, we will go over how to open a PDF using the social media story template, how to select elements from your publication to include in your story, and how to post your story once it's completed. Start by uploading your publication to the dashboard. You will automatically be directed to the Create Publications page, where you will select the template Social Media Story. A box will pop up giving you your font conversion options. Let's stick with Use the fonts in the PDF. Next, you will be given Import options. I want to be able to preview all of the pages of my publication, so I'm going to change this first option to All Pages. Now click Continue. Depending on the size of your publication, this may take a minute. Once your publication has finished importing, you will see that on the left-hand side of the program are your source pages, and on the right-hand side is the area for your social media story. Now, scroll through your publication to find the content you want to include. You will see that if you hover over elements on the page, Flowpaper has broken down your PDF for use in your social media story. I'm going to create a story from this article, Get Sneaky with Squash. There are two ways to add content to your story. You can either double-click elements to include them, or you can drag and drop them in. I'm not totally happy with the placement of this cupcake image. It's easy to rearrange elements once they're in your story. Just select the element you want to move, click on the icon in the top left corner next to where it says Image, and hold down and drag. There, that's better. You can also edit the header of this story by clicking the Settings icon here. I'm going to change my story title. You can also select a different image for your header by clicking the Previous Page button and the Next Page button, which will cycle through all of the images in your publication. Or, click the Browse Image button to find a file already saved on your hard drive. You also have the option of including a footer with your publication. This will include your publication cover, as well as a link. I'm going to include a footer by switching this button from No to Yes. Next, I'm going to type in the name of my publication. Then, I can pop over to my browser so that I can copy and paste the URL I'd like to include. This way, anyone viewing my story can easily find out more about my publication. Select OK to save these settings. Now, let's publish and share on Snapchat. Select Publish, then Cloud Hosted. A box will pop up giving you several options. Select Start Upload. This may take a moment. When the upload is complete, click View Online to view your story in a browser and make sure you are happy with what it looks like. This looks great, so I'm going to head back to Flowpaper. You can see here that Flowpaper has created a shareable URL as well as an embeddable code. We're focusing on sharing through social media today, so we are going to use this shareable URL. Select Copy to copy it to your clipboard. Now, let's switch over to our phone and add this as a swipe up story in Snapchat. To get the link onto your phone, email it or message it to yourself. I have sent my link via email. All I have to do is hold it, click Copy, and then head over to Snapchat. Now, just snap. Click the paperclip icon on the right-hand side and paste the Flowpaper URL. Next, select Go in the bottom right-hand corner. This looks right. Now select Attach to Snap, and your Snapchat is ready to send with your story attached to it. You can also check out Instagram Business for more story sharing options. Thanks for watching this Flowpaper tutorial, adding videos and links to your publication. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online.